He's question 20. Dr. Rupert Fuzzy needs to label the coat hooks in the cloakroom with the numbers 1 to 100. He has to buy the digits separately. How many of the digits 1 does he need to buy? Again, this is a long-winded way of saying if I wrote down all the numbers from 1 to 100, how many times do I write the number 1? So let's think what happens here. Now, you might not need to write all of these out yourself, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. I'm just going to write some of them out here. Uh, I've done it uh, earlier. And once we get past 19, the only time we get 1s again will be uh, in the numbers that end in a 1 here, 21, 31, 41, 51, etc. And of course, at the very end, the 100 has a 1 in it. So I don't need to write out the full 100 numbers here. We could just count the number of 1s on the page here. But if I was doing this without having written anything down, which you can do if you get good at these, I would have thought about it this way. I'd have said, I know there are 10 ones in the tens digits, right? In the 1, the 11, the 21, the 31. I'm not counting the two ones in the 11 twice here yet, just once. I'm just counting the ones in the units digits. So the units digits have 10 ones there. Uh, now, in the tens, there are 10 numbers with a 1 in the tens digit. Again, in the 11 here, I'm only counting the first one this time. And so there'd be 10 numbers here. So I know between 1 and 99, I'm using 20 ones in total. And then I get the extra one for the 100, and that gives me a total of 21, which of course at this point you could also do just by counting them because they're all written down uh, on the page. But however you got it, uh, well done if you got that right. Very easy to miss one here.